so welcome to another episode of Reviews in a Flash. Today I am reviewing Analog, a cyber dystopian noir by Jerry Duggan and David O'Sullivan. Um, thanks again to Darkstar916 for sponsoring this video. So Analog is published by Image. <laughs> which I'm always a fan of. So this, this was great. I loved this book. I felt like this could definitely be a Netflix TV show or a Black Mirror episode. So the story uh, focuses around Jack. Now Jack is a ledger man. What this means is that he carries um, private information from one place to another. In a briefcase, he never looks at it. Basically his handler tells him where to, where to go and he has to take that sense of information from point A to point B. Now naturally that's not so easy because there's always people out to get him. Um, so he also has a partner in crime, not so much crime, but his partner, um, who is always in the, the, the sidelines with her sniper rifle ready to kind of have his back. Now the reason why this um, situation is so unique is because the story is set in 2024. Now in Jack's world, um, he his, his world has been changed, it's our future, because of an attack on the internet. So sometime before this story is set, sometime before 2024, there was an attack on the internet which made everyone's private information just free to public, just readily available, which is a huge fear of mine. <laughs> um, and so when this happened, uh, several people, people did different things, right? So you have some people who decided, okay, from now on, none of that, no internet, no phone, no any sort of just digital device. It's not going to happen. It go completely off the grid. Whereas you have some individuals who decided they don't care about their privacy. They would rather have the conveniences of these devices and just have their privacy be out for all to see. So basically, in this world, if you decide you're going to use the internet or phone or whatever, you're automatically telling the world what you're up to and what's happening. So in a world like this, it's very important for businesses, um, government agencies, uh, higher up people to find a different way to share that sense of information because they can't just email it to each other anymore, right? And that's where Jack comes in. So his, his job is to help those people and help them deliver physical information. And, and, and it's interesting because some of these, they've gone back to like CDs, um, old film reels, uh, records, letters, you know, whatever. So it's very interesting to see how that works because if you, when I've, when I've heard of stories like this, right, it's, it's more so you live in a world where all electricity is gone, right? And so that's why they have to resort back to these things or um, something like that. But it's interesting, that you see this world that's still technologically advanced but can no longer use the same easy modes of communication that we use today. Um, yeah, and so Jack is your, your typical kind of grumpy older man, you know, he used to be in the army and he used to work in government and NSA and now he's doing this <laughs> physical job. He, he's very reminiscent of the, the main character of Fifth Element, like that sort of type of guy, right? He's been around for a while, um, everyone knows him, he's like the guy to contact, but at the same time, because there's so many, so many people that want to use him and know about him, there's a lot of people that want to take advantage of him or are out to get him. I loved this. I thought it was great. I am dying to read more. This is just the first volume in a series. I'm absolutely going to pick this up. I hope this continues. Um, I'd like to see where this goes. This is pretty great. And I want to learn more about Jack and, you know, it kind of hints that he's had some involvement in this internet crash, and so I, I want to know about, more about his past and what his motivations are, and I can absolutely recommend this for anyone who likes these sort of futuristic dystopian books, um, or movies, TV shows, what have you, like Fifth Element, or um, 
Altered Carbon or Blade Runner, Black Mirror, that all that kind of stuff. I really feel like you'll like this. Um, or if you just like more of a mystery type of thing. I love this. 9 out of, nine out of 10, 10 out of 10 for me. Um, something in that range. I'll be reading more. Um, let me know if you've read it or what you think or if you like any similar books to like this or if you can recommend any to me. I'd love to read them. Um, and as always, thank you for watching. Please like, um, comment below, subscribe to our channel. Uh, I hope you keep checking out our content. Uh, we also have a Patreon, so if you're interested in supporting us in any way, that's a pretty easy way to do it. Uh, it's in the description below. There's opportunities to vote for future videos, see behind the scenes, and, you know, opportunity for more in the future. Thank you so much, guys. Hope I see you next time.